there's a soccer game going on right now, and, and I guess there's a rattlesnake there. We were just there. Where is it? Right here. These ones get a little bit complicated. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Nick from down in Tucson, and we just got one of the first good rains of the year. And uh, I got a call. Someone had a snake on their porch. They sent me a photo, and it's a tiger rattlesnake. So I'm going to head on over there, and we'll make sure that that guy can get back out into the desert and not end up in anyone else's yard. So I'm going to head over there right now. Hello. What's going on? How are How's you? How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing all right. Good. I'm pretty excited. It's not every day we get calls for, for this species, so it's Hold pretty on. cool. Is he in the same spot? Same or? spot. What side over here? Right. Oh, yep, I see him. Perfect. No, that's all right. You want to come look at him or? Nope, nope, gotcha. All right, uh, is there a gate or something? I could take him around back? Perfect. No, no, so this is a tiger rattlesnake. Uh, it's a pretty montane species. So, you know, they're concentrated in these like foothills areas. You're not gonna find them in town. You have to basically be living up against a mountain to, yeah. to see it. Can you do me a favor and just kind of look through the backyard and just make sure- Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah, yeah, of course. Helps around there. Of course, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go back through this way. Yeah. One thing I'm noticing is I noticed that you have snake fencing, okay, but it do. doesn't seem to be secured, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys rent or you own no, the house? we own the house. Okay, so. well, one thing, and it's clearly non-committal, but we do offer snake fencing, yeah. and I can tell that this is not doing a good job, hence the rattlesnake. And right. if that is something you're interested in, yeah. I can give you a, at yeah. least a phone number. You can talk to yeah, somebody. Absolutely. But yeah, I'll, I'll look around and make sure he's alone, so. All right. I, uh, what's funny is I think last year, same sort of thing, I had a, a tiger that looked pretty similar in a neighborhood, a couple neighborhoods over. Uh, same thing, just like right after rain event, sitting on someone's porch. And you know, I don't get very many calls for those each year, so always a treat. But I actually know this area pretty well. It's a pretty snaky area, and I have a pretty good idea of where I'm going to let this snake go. So I'm going to go let him go, get it back out in the desert, and who knows, maybe we'll find more snakes while we're letting him go. It's pretty, pretty prime out. This is my, my favorite time of year. It is just so nice to finally have some moisture. It's been a pretty awful, awful dry year so far. So this is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's actually a, a desert tortoise in that hole. As far as he's not out, it's a great time to be out. But anyways, got this big rock pile here. I'm gonna let this tiger rattlesnake go up into it. I'm out of breath. I mean, it's humid and I'm hiking, so. Let's have a proper look at this little tiger rattlesnake you can hear. Whoa. You can see why they call them tigers. Got that awesome banding. Man, that's pretty snake, but got this rock pile right here we can release them into. Whoa, a little, a little feisty. But I think he'll want to go right up in there. How cool is that? Hi, buddy. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Let him do his business. And now, get to walk back to the car while the thunderstorms build. That one's looming a little close, so I'd like to get back to my car before it dumps. I'm headed to a house in Cave Creek. Apparently there's a rattlesnake. It is on the move right now. Um, this whole area just got just destroyed by a big storm last night. We had big hail. Uh, we get all of our rain at once too. It's like when it rains here, it's not like it rains a little bit. It rains all at once and then it's done. So that means a lot of stuff gets flushed out 
of hiding places and we get some unpredictable kinds of calls right now. So I'm assuming that is what this is and I guess I'll find out in about 10 minutes when I get there. All right, hey, sorry. I couldn't tell which one the front was. That's the back, okay. It's right in there. Okay, so, right in this grass? Yeah, that's where I last saw it go into. It moved. Okay. There it is, wait. Maybe. Yeah, I hear a little rattle. Yep, he's hiding. We can find it. Yep, there it goes. There we go. I'm gonna start looking around just to see. Yeah, it's there's a lot with that storm last night. Everybody's. Not running around. <laughs> there's a big king snake down there. There's a there's a lot of snakes that live in that wash. I just saw a huge king snake crawling into there. So because of that storm, like everything came up. We like king snakes. We don't um, mind those. Yeah, I just saw a, a huge king snake down there too, like crawling into where the rocks are. It was the rock pile with the rush combination, it's like, there's, I'm gonna go take a look down there just to see if there's any rattlesnakes just sitting out, but okay. I'll let you know if I, I'll let you guys get back to what you're doing. If I, if I see something, I'll let you know. If not, I'll just head out of here. Oh, there's a big one right there. Pregnant. I'm sure there are more. I'm just not able to find them in this. So this is one of those ones that's kind of, kind of iffy. It's habitat that is just exceptional for snakes. I mean, there's no no wondering why the one that I caught was here and why the, the gravid one that was underneath there is there. I mean, there's, there's certainly more, certainly like a lot more here. Um, this is where it kind of gets to where there's a little bit of ethical gray area to where if I was acting purely as a conservationist, I would ignore that snake and I would just tell the homeowner like, hey, there's another rattlesnake there and it's about to give birth. But considering that the reason I'm here is to do a job, that is to move some snakes and especially since there's apparently some grandkids that are visiting and in a different situation, uh, it is perfectly reasonable for me to uh, capture that snake as expected that I should and uh, move it safely to another place that it can have its babies. It looks like the kind of situation, you know, there could be there could be 20 rattlesnakes hanging out in there. These ones get a little bit complicated. So I'm gonna go find a spot to release both of these snakes and, uh, and then head out of here. Okay, and here we are. I got a wash here that's very deep, uh, a lot of moisture here, and this back behind this bush is just loaded with caves that these snakes are gonna be able to use to hang out safely, give birth, do all this stuff. Oops, on. Let's go. I might crawl over there. Always releasing directly in the cover too. That's the way to do it. And look at this one. This one is very gravid. You can see she's got a little short tail and a big fat body. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. She's gonna give birth like imminently, so 
it's important for her to get the, some, some cover here. Come on. This is an area that I've seen a lot of rattlesnakes before too, so. Okay, let's go. There you go. Tuck yourself back up in there in one of those caves and everything's gonna be good. See you guys later. Stay out of trouble. Hey everyone, headed to a call down near my house. Uh, headed to like, a, it's a public park. There's soccer fields, there's a dog park, there's pickleball courts. I go there every single day with my dog. I walk him around the soccer fields and I guess there's a rattlesnake there. We were just there a few hours ago. There's a soccer game going on right now and a, one of the moms called me and there's a rattlesnake there. So I'm just gonna run down there and go grab it for him and get the snake out of there so no one gets hurt. I've seen dead rattlesnakes in the road over here, but the desert nearby is pretty flat and pretty bare, but I think they come to the park for the water. So I am about to pull up right now. Hi, how are you doing? We can tell the Where is it? Oh, it's a gopher snake. Yay! Oh, she's so <laughs> yeah, it's harmless. That was weird. We were getting closer and it wasn't like, it wasn't rattled. Yeah, yeah, it's just a harmless gopher snake. Oh, it's not a rattle. Well, not a rattle. That's a small gopher snake. Can we do, can you just throw that back on like the Yeah, I'll just take him across the street. Thank you for coming again. Yeah, you're very welcome. Yeah. Wow. Good to have her around. He must be here because all these rodent holes, so. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. She's like, I got it. I've seen rattlesnakes over here, though. Yeah. I go to this park like every day with my dog. But um, mostly just dead ones in the road. All right. all right. I'll go take them back to the desert. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hi, little buddy. He's like, mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if the video of the release will turn out because I think it was on time lapse. I did release that gopher snake. Didn't take it too far. It, it was dangerous where the snake was at just because of all the traffic, all the soccer players. I don't want the snake to get hurt. It was harmless, but there's so many cars here right now because of the soccer game going on right now. So that snake was in danger. So I'm happy I could help it out. But thanks for watching. Bye.